Hi, what are we talking about? Because I just woke up. <laughs> well, today there's something I want to talk about which has been on my mind for many, many days. The documentary on Till Swan that just came out, it's called The Deep End. Mm-hmm. And it's the second documentary, it's a series in four parts, came out on Hulu. As many of you know, I uh, directed and produced the first documentary on Till Swan uh, called Open Shadow. First and foremost, I want to say that uh, this past December, back in December 2021, I was contacted by the producer of The Deep End. And I, I also briefly spoke to John Cashby. The director? Who, she is the director. Okay. Exactly. They were telling me that uh, they were really basically in love with Taylor Swan. They, they liked her a lot. They were very sorry to see that uh, she had many haters and that they, they wanted to put out there a work that would explain more maybe who she really is. But they had all this footage and it felt to me that they kind of hit a wall or something. I told them, hey, you guys can explore, uh, you know, exactly, can, you can explore more about the bad things that are said about her and uh, like uh, the fact that uh, she's been labeled a cult leader and many other things. The, you know, the suicide catalyst, all these things she's been labeled. You can explore those things and, and also really show who she really is. Which, according to me personally, she's not a cult leader and she's not a suicide, you know, she doesn't push people to commit suicide, okay? But let's comment about this later, okay? Basically, I, I, we found ourselves, me and the director and the producer, on the same page when it comes to the, the, the way we feel about Teal. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the conversation, the producer asked me if I could let her go through my footage and to be honest i didn't understand back then why why the why do they want to do that i mean i guess they have so much footage already they've been spending time with till even longer than i ever did so it was weird to me that request in a way when the deep end came out i thought oh whoa so they are you know they are going to explore maybe that side but as i was watching it You know the reaction, right? As I was watching it, I felt right away that, wait a second, okay, this is not going to go towards an open ending. Hmm. And uh, little by little, I thought, I mean, I realized that this was like a collection and distilled, like they distilled all those things to build a story that they already had in mind. This document was so well done that uh, in some parts even fooled me, mm-hmm. you know? Like I said, how, how can it, how is it possible? And I was like confused, the very, the very first vision, I was confused, totally confused. I said, this is not the tale I met, what happened to Teal? Yeah. It was like that. You thought she really had a personality change like over the years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that uh, many of you watching this video will think, oh, now she, you know, she's talking positively about Teal because, you know, uh, maybe she's a tiller, maybe she's a follower, maybe she's, she, she's also been inducted in her cult and all this shit. Uh, it's not true. I, I'm, I'm not a follower. I've never been a follower of Teal. I never read her books. I went there with an open mind in either direction. I stayed around her. I stayed around her community. And uh, she's not the person who is depicted in this documentary. And then... I watched um, this latest video that Teal uh, published, link in the description, and she's showing the happy birthday video notes that each member of the crew uh, sent to Teal on her uh, 2021 birthday. And I was shocked even watching that because even those clips show the members of the crew, especially the, the producer, uh, Bit Sola, whom I speak, I spoke to when she contacted me. She put so much love into that poem that 
she wrote for Teal. Happy birthday, Teal. Excuse my sweaty appearance here. Um, I mean, happy birthday. I hope you're just having a sensational day and celebrating in all the ways that only uh, you all can. Uh, and I'm so sorry not to be there. Um, but thank you for seeing each of us, for seeing us for who we are and, and helping us on our journeys as we attempt to share your journey uh, with the world. Uh, it's a really special thing and it's rare. Um, and I know we're all incredibly grateful to be a part of it. Uh, in thinking of today, down to business, in thinking of today, um, I wrote a little poem, little rap poem, so I will now read it. <clears throat> okay, so where to start? The queen, she looks on over all of us so that our trauma is seen, is both a laugh and serene, concocts exotic cuisine, colourful, tasty and lean from all the places she's been. She gets past the junk, the clunk debunks what's defunct in every one of our brains so we become less deranged. Her presence never goes missed, through obstacles she persists. She is a fire, inspires, we but inquire, admire, as not to mire in dire life paths, cross fire of feeling, her voice a liar of truth, whether it's soft or uncouth. She's not afraid, her mission to expand humankind's vision. Her cognition sees fission and heals it with erudition. A rhetorician, physician in human pain demolition. Her intuition alone has no living competition. She has ambition, volition, is tactful with exposition. Puts herself in position to remake healing tradition with unique disposition for giving us all a chance to take a positive stance towards a future more bright and more deserving of light. On top of that, she's a star, wears heels and still can walk far. As we stare on, amazed, my shoes in envious gaze. So when I think of today, it feels most pressing to say that Teal, you are a wonder. You lead us through as we blunder. We're here to celebrate you with joy and gratitude true. Go outside, laugh and play because June 16th's your day. Happy birthday. So that also made me wonder what happened there. She really did like Teal. It felt like she did really like Teal. You cannot go to that extreme to fool a person in order to infiltrate them, their community, and get the footage you need to uh, then come up with this kind of work. I think they liked her, right? Um, you watched the video, what, what do you think? Yeah, the birthday messages are very heartfelt, but I thought that maybe the crew that went to film, like the sound in the cameraman, maybe mm -hmm. they didn't know like what it was going to end up as. It's, it's like extremely manipulated footage. Like they depict Tira as a very dangerous cult leader, but what worries me is that how dangerous it is to put out there a documentary that defines itself as a documentary when it's not, when it's a fictional work. So what am I looking at? What makes me sad as well is the fact that behind the production of theatrical documentaries, now there is so much money. It's an industry. If they don't find what they're looking for, they have to build it. At this point, when I'm watching a documentary, I'm saying, is this a documentary or this is a fictional work? And this was the case for the deep end. It felt like uh, they created a fictional character out of Teal Swan, forgetting that uh, Teal Swan is a real person with a life and all the, her community as well. So that makes it very unethical to me. So that's what's been consuming me um, in these past few days. And uh, I'm, I'm really sorry to see a person like Teal Swan who in the end, she's, she, all she wants to do is helping people. And I could see it even in the day-to-day -day life, life when I was there around her. She teaches herself to hear and she, like, she wants to bring that teachings out there. That's all she wants to do. She lives and breathes that stuff. Yeah. On camera, off camera, all the time. And uh, I could see how much value people get out of uh, uh, what she puts out there. Would you define what she does like an alternative therapy? You know how there is alternative medicine, uh, alternative uh, diets. Uh, al yeah, definitely. Alternative yeah. education. Would you say that it's uh, like a, how would you define it? Yeah, it's like alternative therapy. Alternative yeah. therapy. I know the institutionalized things are controlled. There is a control, you know, and everything. And I'm not against them. But it's, I think it's important to have a choice, something that goes, because then they become also, the institution become also 
they lose they lose something you it know it becomes more limited they becomes limited they becomes restricted and then you want to look for something else so you also had mental health struggles in the past what did you do i went to therapy for a while when i was in my teens and that did absolutely nothing so <laughs> so that's how i actually found um teal and a bunch of other people i was you know on youtube looking for self help stuff and she's in that realm yeah. So that's how I, that's how I found her stuff. Yeah. And I was actually using what she was teaching for a while to try and help myself out of a rut. Mm-hmm. Of course, there's, you know, only so much you can do. Sometimes I feel like time heals more than what you can do. Mm-hmm. And um but there was stuff that was definitely helpful. I liked the perspectives that she gave. She says a lot of things that are totally on point. And then she says things that maybe I don't agree with or maybe that doesn't work for me but you know I can pick and choose what helps me. Yeah. Um but I never perceived her being like dangerous or promoting suicide. Not really. She just gives a different perspective. But yeah. of course it's a controversial one because she doesn't demonize committing suicide. She doesn't say it like oh it's totally wrong. She's saying it's a choice. It's a choice that you have. Um So, but let's see what we can do with the life you still have right now. Exactly. It's almost like that. Yeah. It's more neutral. She is the most um she preaches emotional authenticity basically. She's like you know, embrace all the spectrum of emotions and that includes like anger and all of that, which is very healthy. But of course, if you're somebody who's totally okay with all the emotional spectrum and there's a documentary crew around they're going to catch you going into moments of rage moments of jealousy whatever yes. because she really does let it all out yes she's not very shielded yeah in showing emotion it's almost like yeah. very raw yeah everything comes out which is why a lot of people actually like her because yeah. it's different so many people who are watching this they might say hey yeah maybe teal showed me an aspect an aspect that um it's all good all right uh, like an aspect of her personality an aspect of her personality that is all good so what about the people who told the stories that are totally that you know portray teal uh, under a very very bad and negative light and uh, and uh, these people you know were in the community and then they left and uh, you know they went uh, public on youtube telling how bad teal is and all of that stuff. If you think about each one of us in our lifetime have experiences like that. We interact with people and there are different dynamic. I might have many enemies, but I I also have many friends. I have a personality and it might clash with some other people, but it might even it might go very well with other people. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend doesn't have the best opinion of me. <laughs> exactly. Or, you know, me, me too. I'm I I I'm, I'm for sure I have people out there that are, t- are talking shit about me. She's not like one of those calm gurus that just like sit there and you know, you come to them, they say something wise and you're like, "Oh my god, that was amazing." She's got a personality like, "I see what's going on here. Let me help you fix it. Here's what I have like this 10 paragraphs that I wrote about this here. Take this and do this, you know, <laughs> exercise." So it's like very intense. She's trying to help. I feel like she means well, but sometimes maybe it's too much for people. Like mm. They don't want to they don't want to go that deep, you know? Yeah. So Jennings Brown was talking about when he went to Costa Rica, um there was a lot of followers of Teal there that were like super starstruck with her. Mm-hmm. And there was this dynamic of like looking up and being in awe and almost treating her like this, you know, deity or like mm-hmm. a god, you know. Mm-hmm. And with that dynamic, it becomes very culty. Um so she has a lot of followers like that. Mm-hmm. And um I feel like that's where the the balance goes off from like just like a self-help teacher to it looks like a cult leader because uh people are giving her their power. Mm-hmm. You know, almost like a a celebrity like, you know, you go to a concert and you like give them all your power like, "Oh my mm-hmm. god, it's it's not a human anymore. It's something more." Mm-hmm. But I mean, can we con- really control what people decide to do if they want if they are, you know, if they want to give away their power 
right? Yeah. This is something that happens all the time. That can open a whole other discussion exactly. about who creates a cult. Is it the the leader or the followers who yeah. put them in a certain way? Exactly. Um, who give away their power? And yeah. then there's some people, there's some cult leaders who totally take advantage of that. And there's like horrible things happening in their communities. There's rapes and awful things. And yeah. but but Teal's not doing any of that. Exactly. Just for the record, she's not laying a finger on anyone. So. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's because she's a woman, but she's a. If she was a cult leader, like I would join the cult because it's a it's a good one. <laughs> Can I say that? Sure, why not? Is that controversial? Who cares? <laughs> we all look for community in our lives. You know, we're all lonely. This is the loneliest time in human history. Yeah. You know, we're all on our phones and like disconnected from each other. So when there's this opportunity to become a part of a community. You want to be a part of that. But this, it's we can enticing. actually dedicate... Uh, uh, now, this video was actually about the deep end and the documentary, yeah. but we can totally dedicate another video about cults, cults. about community, intentional communities, yeah. uh, if Tia is actually a cult leader or not. We can dedicate a separate video to that. <laughs> okay. So for I, sure. It's, but uh, yeah, that's that's my 10 cents on, uh, on the deep end. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this, uh, this update and uh talk to you soon talk to you soon <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so we'll see you in our next video all right bye, bye.